Hello, everyone. Um, so today we are going to look at uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Salesforce and how to insert data from Dynamics CRM into Salesforce, including the attachments. What you're looking here now is um, our Jitterbit Studio. So uh, here on the left, uh, we have all of our um, operations, and that's what we're going to be looking at and inserting data from Dynamics CRM, going into uh, saving it to the file, and then using that file to do an upsert into Salesforce. And we'll do it in two steps where we insert the accounts first, um, and then we'll insert corresponding attachments for all the accounts in Salesforce. Um, so for the Dynamics CRM, uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, we're going to be using our connector. Um, so the first thing what I want to do is I want to make sure that the endpoint is defined properly and it's uh, working. So let's test the connection. It looks like it's working fine, so it's successful. Um, and then the first step, um, we'll run this whole, um, um, the, the three operations that we have here manually by uh, clicking on this uh, lightning bolt, but uh, it can be put on schedule that we can um, create here. So we can create a schedule and attach that schedule and run this on a scheduled basis. And then the other thing what I wanted to show is that in our Salesforce, uh, we currently only have uh, 10 records. And we will be inserting uh, one record from Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, I'm limiting that on purpose, but it doesn't have to be limited to just one record. So if we go into our uh, CRM uh, query account and then click on edit and edit that in here, you see that I'm just uh, limiting it to this particular name. But again, you can remove this and insert multiple records at the same time and then um, add attachments to those records. Um, so I'm gonna run this now manually, um, and then we should get uh, another record in Salesforce from Microsoft Dynamics, and it should have an attachment uh, that comes with it as part of it. So let's run this real quick, and, uh, and then we'll switch to our Salesforce, and then refresh. Looks like we now have 11 records. So you see how the CRM test record got inserted. And if we scroll down, uh, there is an attachment that was um, that came with it. So if you view the file, you can actually see the attachment. So um, we can go back to our Jitterbit Studio and just uh, quickly see what was done here. So the first step when we got the, the data out of Microsoft. CRM um, and, it, uh, in, and saved it to a file. The transformation here is that we take that uh, file that got created from our, uh, the retrieval from Microsoft Dynamics CRM and then the mapping is done to uh, the account object and matched on the external ID to make sure that all the, if there was more than one record that you can get all the records in to the account object here in Salesforce. And that's the transformation mapping that was done. And then step number two here, we, as you can see, we use the same file. This is the same file here. You double click here, you see that uh, now we are doing mapping to the attachment object in Salesforce. And uh, we are, uh, the condition here says basically that we want to make sure that there is data. So we're checking to see if it's greater than zero. And then the second, um, formula that we're using here is that for the parent ID, we're doing a Salesforce lookup, uh, which is our um, formula here. If I have, hover over it, you can see the details of what needs to be included here. But basically, uh, it comes from our Salesforce org. This is the uh, credentials for my Salesforce org um, that I'm using, and I'm selecting ID from uh, the account where external ID equals and then what this is doing is basically just getting the data from the real object here in um, um, object ID, and then there is an account ID that comes from, uh, let me find it here, right here. 
So there's no hard coding here. It's just taking the data directly from your object in Salesforce. Um, and this is uh, how it's done. So by following these simple steps, you can insert data from um, Microsoft Dynamics CRM into Salesforce, including your attachments. Thank you.